moment, the possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, y'all? Azo, back with another video. Hope y'all enjoying y'all day out there today. So I want to bring y'all this quick little video. I'll probably take it down in a few hours or something like that. But I want to record it and post it, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I ordered some DoorDash last night, right? I just started ordering DoorDash. I usually will pick up my food or go sit down. I just started ordering DoorDash. So I get off of work like 9 o'clock, right? Late. Get off of work late. And I decide I'm ordering me some Wingstop, you know? Nice little 10-piece combo, lemon pepper, Cajun. I'm thinking I'm finna go in, right? Order my food. I'm thinking by the time I get home, get in the shower, get all cleaned up, my food should be at my door, you know? So that's what I do. I come home, hop in the shower, get cleaned up, get out the shower. They say my food is still going to be a minute. Okay, cool. I ain't upset, nothing like that. I get a thought or my intuition be talking to me, so I just listen. I don't even know my intuition, man. So my intuition says, listen to some money affirmations. Listen to some money affirmations, so why not? I just close my eyes, turn on the affirmations on my speaker, and I just zone out, right? Five, ten minutes go by. I'm just listening to money affirmations. I give and receive money easily. Money comes to me easily and frequently, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I just zone out. Think about money, you know what I'm saying? So I get a notification to my phone. It says my order has been delivered. No bell ring. No knock on the door, nothing like that. So I'm like, hold up. Go to my door, open the door. Ain't no food there. Nobody in sight. So I'm like, I know DoorDash not finna get over on me. You know what I'm saying? So I get on the app, contact DoorDash. Like, my food is not here. Ain't no driver here. I need a driver number. I need to know something. Like, where my food at? So they say, we're well, sorry about the inconvenience. We're gonna give you a refund of $21. My total was $27 for the 10-piece combo and a nice little tip and all that delivery fee, all that stuff, $27. So they say, we're going to refund you $21. I'm like, $21? What about the rest of my money? They was going to leave that part out, just give me $21. So I'm like, I need the whole $27 or somebody going to have to re-deliver my food, you know? So they're like, we're sorry about that. We're sorry about all of this, blah, blah, blah. We're going to give you the whole 27. Why didn't you give me the 27 in the beginning? I don't know. But they said, we're going to give you the whole 27, right? So I'm like, cool. So I go to my email. I go to my email. And mind you, at this point, I'm thinking like, uh, man, I got to throw some pizza in the oven. I don't even feel like eating no pizza. Like, uh, blah, blah. I'm, I'm just like, ain't no way this DoorDasher just took my food. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. And I go to my email. And it shows the picture that the dasher took of my food. So I'm looking at the picture like, that's not my door. That's not my door. Like, where did he just leave my food? He didn't take the food I see now, but he left my food somewhere else, somebody else's door. And in my uh, apartment complex, it's three towers. So I know people can get it confused sometimes. So I'm thinking like, bro, I'm not finna throw this piece in the oven, bro. I'm finna go look for my food. I'm finna check out these other towers go to my apartment number inside these other towers and try to find my food, you know? So DoorDash at this point just want to give me a refund. They don't want to send another driver, send me more food, nothing like that, right? So I decide I'm finna go look for my food. I get out my door, right? I'm finna show y'all exactly what I did. Walked out my door. Make sure I don't lock myself out right there. Got my door, right? It's one tower that way. And there's another tower that way. And then I'm thinking like, I might as well get on the elevator, go outside and go to the other tower that way. But I'm like, nah, bro, I'm finna just walk, bro. So I start walking, right? I start walking all the way this way, right? Heading towards the stairs to go outside. So as I get closer to the door, I'm starting to see food all the way down here, like on the floor, it's some food. I see it all the way down there. I'm like, I know that ain't my food, bro. So I walk all the way down here. I'm just walking like I know that ain't my food, bro. I look just like the picture. I walk all the way down here. Eventually I get down there, right? And I'm like, I see the food like right here. I'm like, 
Bro, this is my food. Long story short, man, I ended up getting my food and I also got the full refund. So DoorDash tried to play me with the $21. The Dasher tried to finesse me or not give me my food, but I ended up getting my food and a full refund. Yeah, I just want to share that with y'all, man. I'll probably delete this video. <laughs>